Paul Morrow, real quickly, this situation with the judge is interesting. I don't know if you caught this. Uh, judge Marchand is assigned to be the judge in Steve Bannon's criminal fraud trial. It's currently on hold right now. It's been delayed. Um, but it is interesting. There is Newsweek has actually an article and you can read all about it. So we're going to see more of him coming down the pike. And you have some information about this judge we need to know about. Right. So I have been emailing the chief administrative judge's office to find out how it occurred that Merchon caught both the Weisselberg case, this case, and apparently the Banning case, which I had not known about. The answer I'm getting back is that he, that is Judge Merchon, oversaw the special grand jury under which all this stuff was brought out. And as a result, they said, OK, he's familiar with the special grand jury, he's familiar with the case, and so let him handle both. What I have not gotten an answer to are my follow-up questions, which is, A, what is the general procedure? B, how did he get the special grand jury then? It, was he in line to get that? How does somebody get chosen for a special grand jury? Because he's got so many conflicts. In addition to the daughter, remember something else. The reporting is that his wife worked for Tish James, the AG who brought a case against Trump. Who was in that office at the same time? Colangelo, the guy who's leading the charge here that came from DOJ for Bragg's office. So you have a very internecine sort of uh, almost incestuous situation going on among all of these players. Many of us would like to know, how did Merchon get the case? And here's a last subtlety. How did it happen so quickly? Remember something. The point of the criminal justice reforms that we've heard so much about in New York State was you can't have people sitting in records for a year and a half awaiting their day in court. Somehow or other, Donald Trump's case leapfrogged all of those. Suddenly, as Andy says, suddenly everybody on the progressive left, they don't care about the rule of law that they were so concerned about in a different context. Trump's case came right to trial conveniently before the election, and a lot of people are sitting in records waiting for their day as a result. How do you think he got that post for that special grand jury, and how does he sit here? I don't know. The fact that he's getting all three really is what should happen and what I've advocated for is uh, Congressman Jim Jordan has sent letters to all of the above, although he has not sent the letter yet. Elise Stefanik. Elise Stefanik is asking the questions. Jordan has, a, has an open investigation in House Judiciary. Get some subpoenas going, get some people in, get some testimony, find out what's going on. Paul Morrow, you're on it. You're, you're making calls, you're doing all the things while you sit next to me, and I appreciate all that hard work and your expertise, sir. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.